There's one final thing that I'm going to do to this log before I, I flip it over and hew the, the circle saw marks off of the broad axe. And I'm going to make a flat spot here because when I start putting these logs up, I want to be able to put some blocking in between to help support those logs. And so this little area right here needs to be good and flat. Across here needs to be square with the inside face of the log. And so I'm just going to take my chainsaw and start brushing this lightly back and forth. There's one more thing that I want to add to that. You can see the outside surface has not been hewed. I like to stand on the inside face of the log when I do that. Because when I'm brushing this with a chainsaw, the bar oil is going to come off of the tip of the bar and back around. And if it gets on the face or the, the outside face of the log, that's okay because I'm going to hew that off. I don't want to stand on this side of the log and sling the bar oil around to the inside face since I've already got it hewed, cleaned, and ready to go. I'm going to put my square up there and have it up against the inside face and I'm looking down here at the number that I'm reading on my square and I'm just checking it across there to see that that number is the same all the way and that will let me know that this is parallel with this center line. Now I can see that I've got a little bit of, of wood that I need to remove off the back side over here. So I'm just going to take my chisel and remove some of that over there. Okay, I've got what I need. It's pretty critical that you have your block sitting in there where it's not rocking back and forth. Because we'll do the same thing on the short logs that come up against a doorway or a window. We'll put blocking in there and that holds the log up and keeps it in line all the way across the room. And that will support the log that sits on top of this. Now this 12 foot log, it's, it's plenty beefy enough to carry its own weight. But I was just going to do this on each one of them because once I get up so high, there will be a window in this wall. The last thing I'm going to do is just put just a little bit of anchor seal on that because there will be wood sitting here on this flat spot. And if any moisture gets in there, this will kind of help to protect the log and everything concerned to it. When I'm getting ready to hew a log, where I'm just hewing the surface off, I like for the top of that log to lean back just a little bit. So if you want to, whatever becomes comfortable for you for doing that. Not too, you don't want to, I don't want it to lean back too far, but just enough that so when I'm hewing, my ax is constantly coming in contact with the surface of the log. I'm going to stay away from this edge just a little bit. You can see just a little teeny tiny bit of wood there. I can come back and clean that off. I don't want to really mess with this bottom edge here. Sometimes you'll have some wood that'll splinter out on you around a knot where the grain's kind of changing just a little bit like it is here.
I'm a little short to be doing this from this angle. This can I can come back and I can take a slick and clean a lot of that up if it doesn't suit me. I kind of like to stay away from these areas where I have my marks. I can come back with, like I say, when I fix this here, I can take a slick and kind of clean all of that off. 